All right, in this example, I'm just going to walk through some of the things that you have to do for your midterm project, and I'm using the Boulder County example as we did in class. So starting with my project, I've already gone through and assigned a correct projection to my data frame. Don't forget that that's one of the goals of this assignment. So if I right click on my data frame and click on properties, here you can see I've already assigned the appropriate state plane coordinate system 0501 for Boulder County. So I click OK. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the Boulder County shapefile. Now remember, I had all of the state of Colorado originally from the census website. So using an attribute selection just on the county ID for Boulder, I was able to select just Boulder, then export that particular selection to a new shapefile. So that's why when I add this Boulder County shapefile, you're only going to see Boulder County, not the entire state. Now if I open up the attribute table for this layer by right clicking on it, going to open attribute table, I can see as in chapter 5 did for the example data sets we have some preformatted fields here and just as a reminder if I see a field that is left justified I'm dealing with a text value. If I see a field that is right justified then I'm dealing with a numeric value. So leaving that open for a minute, I'm now going to go back to my Add Data button. And again, I've downloaded the actual raw data from the census um, and edited the Excel spreadsheet significantly to remove all of the formatting and the longer descriptors for those variables that I've selected. So after exporting it to a CSV file, so a common limited file, um, I'll actually see it as a type that I can add directly into ArcMap and making sure that it's not open in any other product or program I should be able to add it directly to my map. So now right clicking on that table and clicking open will open the attributes for that table and if I resize this just a bit and I look at the field that I've also renamed and formatted slightly from the original, I see that I have here a numeric tract ID field. So this is essentially what I'm going to try and do the join based on. I have in my data table a tract ID field, and I have in my original shapefile a tract num field. Now remember, they don't have to be named the same, but they do have to be the same data type. And because they're both right justified, I can see that they're both numeric. So closing both tables, the next thing I do is I want to join the attributes from my table to my shapefile. So I right click on my shapefile, go to Joins and Relates, click on Join, and make sure that at the top here it's saying I want to join attributes from a table. And in the first box, I pick the field that I found from the attribute table from my shapefile, which was this tracked num field. Selecting that, I should now see any numeric columns from my table appear here. If I don't see the right field, then it means that my data types aren't matching. So again, it means uh, in one table I must have something as a numeric um, column, and in the other it's text. So they do have to be the same. But here I see that it's giving me the option for the correct one, which is the tract ID. Of course, if it's picking the wrong table, in this case I only have one in my ArcMap project, so it's picking the correct one. Um, I could change it here. I want to make sure that the join options is the default keep all records and now I click OK. Now if this worked, the next time I go back and open up the attribute column or table for my shapefile, I should see all of the attributes from my data table as well. And indeed as I scroll to the right here, I now see The attributes for my data table included. So at this point it's always a good idea to take it one step further and because I'm still dealing with an in-memory join at this point simply right click on my layer once I've verified that it's worked correctly and go down to data and export this 
shapefile with the combined attributes into a brand new shapefile.